This is the story of Zhu Yingtai and Liang Shanbo. It is also my story and yours. The story of anyone who has ever had a dream. Zhu Yingtai, beautiful, brilliant Yingtai, who loved to read, to write, to learn. Knowledge was the air Yingtai longed to breathe, the sky she craved to touch. School was for boys, not for girls. Such were the rules. But Zhu Yingtai had a dream, and dreams don't know rules. So she played the most daring game of her life, of all our lives. Walking on the high wire of honor with her dream in her hands. That is how they met. Zhu Yingtai and Liang Shanbo. Liang Zhu, this story, actually, its scope is actually quite large. Its character design, its dialogue scenes, actually, can be put into the whole experience of its past. Of course, what I want to do is, first, to express my own experience, and then, secondly, to break the past experience. Because we are in different fields. 艺术家在一起碰撞，而且是一种新的工作方式在一起，在一起合作，所以其实应该更多的是一种吸取，互相的碰撞和吸取，就是我们要弄一个不一样的东西出来。我我们也很期待，就是能撞出一个非常不一样的两种出来。Shambo with his thirst to learn, to grow. For the first time, Ying Tai heard her dreams beat in another heart. They swore the oath of blood brotherhood, to share joy and sorrow, always. Actually, in the beginning, I understood that our creative team, actually, there are many foreign artists and foreign artists and foreign artists. 艺术家老师们，我也很希望跟这些艺术家老师们合作，也期待能有不一样的舞台呈现和效果。祝英台这个角色，其实是我觉得非常有意思的一个角色，因为她本身是一个女孩，在当时那样的一个社会环境下，她勇于迈出这样一步，像一个男孩一样出去读书，打破当时一个女性传统的概念的。You know, I've always been fascinated by and, and, and attracted to Asian stories. Butterfly Lovers is, is a story with a long history and, and, and a kind of deep cultural memory for the Chinese. 
And so when you get the tragic, romantic love story of these young students who have a shared passion for knowledge, and through that shared passion they become friends, and through their friendship they become lovers, and, and to become lovers they have to defy the traditions of their era, and then to liberate themselves and to be free, they, they, they have to sacrifice their bodies and transform their souls into butterflies. So this is a charming, magical story, and, and, and anyone in any era could enjoy that. It's a really beautiful piece, you know, to talk about how the relationship between two, um, two lovers. And then they don't know each other and they start to know and try to testing, uh, try to guessing, uh, hesitation, and all, all these things become really um, attractive on stage. Also, they have a style of uh, classical traditional Chinese art and, and make that the kind of erotic, uh, more dramatic, more romantic at, at the same time. I think it's really important to get back to um, Chinese classical art, yet uh, together with the modern sense. We've had over 60 meetings, can you believe? From, from literally November up until July this year. We've had lots of creative discussions about the concept, the theme. We've explored musical sketches and drafts. We've explored uh, sketches of the scenic elements. There's beginning to be some motion capture work which we're using with media animation. So I think we've got a really strong foundation for the project in which we can now build out and, and, um, I, and I hope we do a really good job, you know, uh, the ambitions are high. <laughs> Jocelyn Pook is the, com is the composer, and I've worked with her once before, and she's a British composer, and she's absolutely amazing with melody and voice. <laughs> and I think that is one of Jocelyn's great strengths, as well as how she creates a symbiosis of all these different languages. Uh, back in China, we always say, Tian Shi Di Li Ren He took out the right time, right place, and with the right people. One of the biggest objective is to put a modern twist of the traditional Chinese stories. That's the China House arts ambitions. Global artists telling the Chinese stories in a new creative way. When people actually see what exactly China House Arts presents, they will for sure join us. We build through creativity, we innovate, we dream, we take risks, we collaborate. But one thing we also know, we can't do that alone. You know, beautiful things can happen when different worlds meet. <laughs> <laughs>